Hello guys, just Bill from Better Living Outdoors. Thought I'd do a quick video on just how I've got my spa set up to help with energy costs. So, I get uh, electricity for 5p per kilowatt hour during the hours of 12.30 uh, in the morning to 4.30 in the morning. Now I set my spa to heat between those uh, time periods um, from 4.30 in the morning right the way through the day till 12.30 at night. I set it in economy mode so it'll allow the temperature to drop uh, to 26 degrees. It never does by the way, it always maintains heat hot enough for me to bathe on a night time. And yeah, it, it, it only uses the heater and the filtration cycles between those hours. So the reduction in energy costs for heating your spa are dramatically reduced, okay? So we're at about half past 11 in the morning now. Uh, this stopped heating at 4.30 this morning. I checked on my monitoring app. And this is now at 39 degrees, okay? You'll see it there sh uh, saying super energy economy mode is, is active. And it'll allow it to go down to 29 degrees. So now we're sitting at 39. So that's taken roughly around about eight hours to drop one degree. If we drop another degree over eight hours that means when i get in tonight around six seven o'clock i think it's going to be around about 37 38 degrees and in this weather you'll agree with me it's absolutely brilliant temperature to bathe in so we don't want anything any hotter than that and then once i've got out the temperature will probably drop again down to 36 35 35.5 something like that and then it'll, the spiral just wait for till 12 30 and then it'll start heating again on the cheap electricity. Now, last night I used 65p of electricity to, to keep this, this tub warm. And I think that's a dramatic reduction on uh, using the energy throughout the day on the higher tariff uh, rates. So yeah, this is what I'm doing to help with energy costs. You can quite easily switch on the Octopus Go tariff or any similar overnight tariffs. I don't believe you need to have uh, an electric car. There's, there's other providers as well, Eon, such like, they will help you sort of um, uh, get on them sort of tariffs. So you just need to do a bit of groundwork to see where you can get get on those any cheap energy deals. And then it's just a simple case of uh, programming your, your filter cycles on, sorry, your, uh, your economy modes on, on the Gecko control pad. You can do it on Balbo, but it is slightly difficult, more, more difficult to do that. Uh, but it is achievable. But Gecko is the, the ideal scenario where you can program in your uh, your economy modes and use the cheap electricity next step from that is we have got the uh, gecko uh, heat pump which I just need to lay a concrete pad there to sit it on and then plumb it into the spa and that will dramatically reduce costs even again we'll leave the spa in, uh, programmed as it is but this will I think again it'll drop it down to maybe 15 20 pence to, to heat the spa for a day I know it's summer, even if you multiply that by two in the winter, it's still 40p and still getting the, um, you know, good temperatures to bathe in. So, just a little video for everyone who may be struggling or thinking the, the spa's running a bit too, too for too much money. So, get yourself onto an octopus core tariff, cheap overnight rate, and reprogram your spa. Very simple. Bye for now.